Hello, this is Mr. Agbamu, and in today's video, I want to show you how you can create gear, gear tits in Creo Parametrics, and also I will show you how you can do the animation of the gear tit. So, in my last video, this was the parameters I used in designing the 15 gear tits for the gear I used Creo to produce. So, I want to produce a gear tit with 45 tits. With the same pitch I used in my last video, 12.4 millimeter pitch and the same pressure angle. So every other information remains the same. The only information that is changing is the sizes of the pitch circle diameter and other information you need here. So let's go to Creo Parametrics and do the gear production of the gear tits. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is Creo parametrics. So let's start the process. So you start by sketching on the front view. You click on front and you sketch on the front view. For production of gadget, we always sketch on front view. Take note of that. Then you click on this place, sketch view to let the front view face us directly. Then you draw your circle. So this the two circles I'm getting the dendrum circle and the circle for the shaft where the shaft will go into the gear. So let me go down. Okay, let me get the, the dendrum circle diameter. So this is so this C is our dendrum circle. So this is the centidendum circle. So this is 167.749. 167.749. Okay, let's go and impute it there. So 167.749. You double click and you write 167.749. Tap enter. Then the shaft hole i use 20 millimeter there in the other case so which is this other one that is this one so i use this 20 millimeter okay so that is it so that is my circle then you click enter then you extrude okay and the thickness of our gadget which is the face width w is 24.8 so we ex double click put your 24.8 as the thickness so this is the gear this is the first set we have done now and the next thing we need to do now you need to put the addendum circle, the piece circle, and the base circle. So you also click on front, click on sketch, then sketch view, and you get the three circles. So one, two, okay. Then let's put the values. Let me start with the addendum circle. So addendum is DA. So addendum circle is DA, which is 185.511. 185.511, which is 185.511. So that is that. Let me take it so that we know that we have done this. Then we need the pitch circle, which is D. D is the pitch circle 177 177.67 177.617 177.617 177.617 okay the next circle we need is we need the base circle which is 166.90 
which is this 166.905 so these are my three circles that I need then let's go and get our involute now okay you go to that term now from that term you go to curve curve from equation you click on that then you click on Cartesian here then you come and click on the cut and the, on this Cartesian point at the middle here you click on it then you click on equation then you now see the space where you impute your equation you close this let me move this up so that you can see it then you put your equation here but the equation is you don't need to memorize it just go to where you saved it so I have my equation here I've saved it on this place just copy it so you copy this equation don't change anything just type it out like this and copy it exactly like this then come and paste it in this place this equation just paste it so you paste it here then the only thing you are changing here is this place you can see 14.15 so this is the old gear I did before so what you are going to put here is the base circle so the base circle which is 166.905 this is what you write here so take note of that you just write 166 cancel this one then 166.905 that is all then you save it come to file you save it okay then that is all you now click on ok you can see the involute profile has been produced here so from this involute profile now you just click ok it is from this profile we can now produce our gear tits so how do we do that now you also go to front and sketch sketch on the front sketch then let me zoom and see it clearly Okay, you sketch then you come to reference here yeah? click on reference then we need to reference the baseline and the profile line then you close then you get your arc with center come to arc with center which is this then you go to center of your work which is here click on the center then what I'm trying to do now is the thickness trying to get the thickness then you click okay so I have 4.65 but my thickness is thickness of my gear is 6.2 I can see it I can see which is tooth thickness 6.2 then you edit it and put 6.2 here 6.2 enter so that is that then you come and click on OK. Then on this thickness we just put, we need to create a point here. So you come and click on point. Then this point I want it to be at the middle. Then you come to this place, you type 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and you hit the enter button. So it's now at the middle, 0 0.5. Then you click on OK. Then I need a plane to pass through this point. Then you click on plane. If you middle click and roll, you see the plane. I want the plane to pass through the center of the gear. Then you hold the control button down. Then you click on the middle as this. So that is all. So with this, you can see the new plane has been created. Then I need to mirror this profile so that we can click on it then click on mirror mirror it on the new plane you created which is this you click on the plane then you click ok so that is it you can now see we have another profile so let's now go and produce the involute we need on it now the sketch of the gadget we need now so what i need to do now i'll go to front i'll sketch on my front I'll sketch the front view to face us directly then I need to reference some of the lines I need so 
So we need to reference this. We need to reference this. We need to reference this. So those are the ones I need now. Okay. Then that is all. Then the next thing is you go to projects, click on this project, make sure it's on single. Then you mark on this, click on this. So you have lines on those profile now. Then we'll go to the arc with center, click on the center, then you make an arc from from this point from this point to this point okay then next thing is we need another arc again click on the middle here from this point to this point okay then that is all then you remove the line you don't need then you go to delete and delete the ones you don't need I don't need this one I don't need this one I don't need this I don't need this I don't need this ok so everything is set now and ok then we can now extrude this one so you extrude to the thickness you want so I want to extrude to this thickness so that is the profile of this tit now so we are producing cat tit now then the next thing is to pattern it to go around equally so click on pattern through the axis click on the axis this one and we need 45 put the number 45 I want it to go around equally you click on this so that is that then click on OK and you get your 45 gets it complete so you can see it this is the 45 gets it then the next thing is to hide these lines you don't need so let me hide them you hold the control and click the lines you want to hide. Okay, then you come and right click and you hide it in. Okay, then let me remove those planes that I don't need now. So this is my gadget. You can see it. 45 gadget has been produced. So the next thing is to go to the animation page and animate them. And that will be our next thing now. I have my two gears ready now for animation. So let me show you the second one. This is the first gear, gear A. So this is the 15 teeth gear tooth. Then this is the second one, the gear B. And this is gear B, the 45 teeth gear. So let me show you how you can do the animation so that you can see how the gear can work. So let's go now. Now, but remember, before we animate, we need to know the center distance between the two gears. Let's come to our calculation. The gear with 45 teeth, this is the pitch circle. You can see pitch circle diameter is 177. So we need to add it. We now add 177.617 then we add it to the one the pitch circle diameter of 15 teeth let me put the 15 let me know the pitch circle diameter to 15 so the one with 15 teeth the pitch circle diameter is 59 so which is 59.206 then divide it by 2 press your equal to so that is the result so the center distance between the two gears is going to be 118.412 so this is what I will start with in my animation ok so now let's go to crew parametric now so the next thing we go to open new file assembly so we do our animation in assembly 
So we need to assemble the two gears first before we do the animation. All right, so assembly, give it a name. Let's just call it a gear animation. Put I fin, let's just say gear A N I. So gear animation, or oh, let's spell it in full animation. Okay, all right. So our assembly mode is coming up now. Okay, this is the assembly mode. Then we still need to do our setting. Remember, I when I was doing the gear tit, I use 15, I use millimeters our unit. So we need to so you can see the default is always inches, but my calculation is in millimeter. So I need to set it. Just click on millimeter, mute in second, then click on set, then come here. In this one, you click on OK. That is all, then you close. So that is all, then you close this one. So now our assembly mode is on millimeter unit scale now. Let me bring in my axis and the rest. Okay, so now I need to create an axis where the two gears will be mounted upon. So we need an axis. You know, when I bring my gear to this place, gear need to rotate on a particular axis. So I don't have any axis here now. So I need to create an axis here. So you click on axis. Then, okay, I want it to be on the top. Just place your mouse. You can see assembly ASM top. So let me put it at the top. You can see the axis is on the top. I need to position it. So you just click on one of these green mark and drag it to one of the planes. Then click on this and drag it to the other plane. Then you need to set the distance. So I want this first one to be at zero. So just type zero. So double click, put your zero and you type it in. <clears throat> okay, so I've done the first axis. You can see it. A A A A one. This is the first axis. So I need another axis for the other gear. Still on the top. Then you click, drag this also to this one. Then you drag this to this. Okay, so I want this distance to be zero. So you can see they are on the same line now. So this is what I will now use. I will now put this one to my distance center distance now, which is 118.412. So double click 118.412. So that is it. You can see the distance 118.412. So that is the distance between the two axes. And this is they are all in millimeter. So we have done this, so now let's impute our gears now. So you come to assemble, add component, you click on this. So this is our directory, gear A. So this is the 15 seat. Let me introduce this one first. So this is the 15 gear seat. Then since I'm doing gear animation and I want this gear to rotate, so this is where I'm going to come, user define, click on it, then click on pin. Pin is when you want to rotate an object. You use pin to do your assembly. So you click on pin. Then we are now in pin. And then look for the axis of this gear. See? Gear AA axis. So this is the axis of the gear. Click on it. Then come and install it on one of the axis you created. So let me bring it to this axis. So this is AA1. So this is one of the axis. You can see the second axis here, AA2. You can see this axis, AA1. So just click on this. So the gear has been mounted on this axis. If you see, it's not fully constrained. See, connection definition is incomplete. Then to make it incomplete, I need this face now. Let me click on it. So the face of the gear need to rotate on a particular as is. So I want it to rotate on the top. You know, I placed, I did my axis on the top plane. So I want the gear to rotate on that axis of the top plane. So I'll click on top. So it's fully complete now. So I can see the color have changed. So 15 gear teeth have installed this. So we click on OK. <clears throat> All right. So if you want to rotate it, just come and take your 
drag component here then click on the gear you want to rotate click on it then just click and move you see it's rotating now so that is the effect of pin so that is it then you close it so let's bring the second gear to it which is the 45 degree gear to it. then that is gear b you click on it then you open it here it's now here so it's also a gear i want it to rotate so you click on pin come to the axis of this gear you are pinning the axis make sure the mouse is there gear b axis you click on it then you go to the second axis click on it so you can see we have done it then still not complete remember i make this face to rotate on the front view so i need this face also sorry on the top view i need this face to rotate on the top view so you place your mouse so assembly top so you click on it so you can see the two gears you can see their teeth uh, closed now so i need to rotate and adjust it so this one is complete now you click on ok now we have our two gears so let me remove all this my axis on this line just click on this select all k so i did it on my top let me click on top view okay so i need to position my teeth well now so just click on the drag any of them you click on you can turn it yeah so that is it you can click on this also see you can see i've arranged it so this is the two gear they have been positioned so now how do i do the animation so that we see how the gear is going to work so we need to go now to application then we go to mechanism not animation this animation is different from mechanism you create your mechanism first where you define your motor and the rest before you can do other further animation but this is the one i want to show you for today's video so you click on animation and mechanism when you click on mechanism this is mechanism mode so the two gears now which of them do i want to be the driver now which one am i connecting to the electric motor so let me you need to click on your motor you click on server motor so i want the small gear to be the driver so you click on it you can see this symbol let me rotate it turn it so that you can see it you can see this symbol on the small gear the bigger gear also has it but i want it to i want the small gear to be the motor so you just click on it then come to profile select velocity then give it a constant value let's just say 10 so you want it to turn at 10 degree per second that's what this 10 means 10 degree per second then okay then you apply it so you have applied it now you see the symbol is there then okay okay i think let me edit if you want to edit this edit so this is it the profile i clicked again is velocity i see the velocity then you define let me make so that you can see it clearly let me bring it to this side then you click on velocity click on this point velocity you put your velocity your constant value i put 10 in this case you click on apply then okay so that is it. so this is my server motor what this one means is that if i click on my mechanism and i let me just let me move it to this side so that you can see it well okay just click on mechanism this page will come up then put a value your end time so i want to run this motor now let's say i to run then click on run just your end time put your value there your rate and the rest your frame rate just put value there then click on run you can see my gear is turning you know i've not done the gear animation so that's why it's not turning the second gear this is just the motor animation i, I did 
so wow so this is my servo motor so this will be my driver so let me position it again so click on drag then okay then let me put it in top so that i can view it well okay so we are in order now all right then now we have our electric motor so this gear is connected to the motor then now let's introduce our gear now so we now come to gear you can see gear here define a gear pair connection click on it let me move it to this side so that you can see it all right so on this place under this generic just click on it you see spore the gear we just constructed is a spore gear so click on spore you can see bevel is there warm is there rack and pinion is there but the one i did now is a spore gear so click on spore gear then this is gear one so gear one i want my electric motor to be my gear one since it's my driver and gear this is my driver now so all you just need to do click on this symbol here you can see it has put in our motor symbol now you can see it you can see it well so and you can see the green mark to show that this is our first gear then what is the pitch circle diameter of the first gear remember this is the 15 gear tit. so you need the pitch circle diameter here so let me get the value here so for the for the 15 gear tit, which is this now the pitch circle diameter which is d is 59.206 so you put it here 59.206 six mark enter so that is the diameter of this 15 teeth gear so that is all you have here then go to gear two so you see now this is gear two so you you also need to select gear two. so this is my gear two you see what we have when i say select this gear two because our calculation is okay we you know you know we use the standard formulas to do our calculations you know that is one beauty about Q param parametrics. Make sure your formulas are correct. All your formulas are standard formulas, and make sure your calculations are correct. Now, my first gear, the 15 teeth gear, I use p circle diameter as 59.206. You see what will happen now when I select my second gear. So, if I select my second gear, now this we are in gear two now. So select this. See automatically it has put it put in our piece circle diameter because crew knows that know that I want to create gear between these two. He knows that if my first gear tit is 59, which is this, he knows that my first gear tit is diameter is 59.20. He knows that the second gear that will match with this gear according to the pitch that I use in designing my gear tit will be 177.618. If you go to our calculation, you can see the p circle diameter of this bigger gear, the 45 teeth gear. You can see this, and I will not type it. Crew just automatically put it down there. That's one beauty about gear. If your calculations are correct and you want to do animation in Crew parametrics, your animation will be easy for you, and your design will come out as if you are producing the machine in real life. So one advantage of Crew is that it eliminates prototype construction instead of producing your, your prototype machine why not produce your machine in the system test it and if it works here yeah, then it will work in real life so you can see if i go and check uh 45 um 45 teat gear now you see that this is pitch circle diameter 177.61 it let's check and see you just change this place to 45 teeth if you put your four here just click an empty space you can see our pitch circle diameter for the 45 teeth you see it 177.617 okay, this is 17 the other one is 180 it's just an approximate just a small difference but the main thing is the whole number if you are taking it to a whole number it will be 178 so it's correct so that is it so you can see we are in order 
So I don't need to edit this diameter. The system has already taken it, so it's okay. So the next thing you do is to apply it. So you click on apply. So we have done all the settings. There's nothing else again. Properties. Everything is correct. You can see the pressure angle we use is 20. You can see the first gear 59.206. The second gear 177.618. It's like the piece circle diameter. So we'll take note of that. So we are in order. That means our calculation is correct. Animation will be perfect. Then you click on OK, apply first, then OK. So that is it. Gear have been in, have been applied. So if I turn this small gear now, let me position it to face up directly. If I turn my 45 teeth gear, you see, if I turn my 15 teeth gear now, it's going to rotate. It's going to transmit the power to this 45 teeth gear. Just go to your drag and click on the smaller one. As you turn, see it's turning it now. So it's driving it. So this is what we are talking about. This is what we are talking about. Then you remember if this teeth, if the small gear is having 45 teeth, and if the small gear is having 15 teeth. And the bigger gear is having 45 teeth. That means when you when you check the gear ratio, the ratio is going to be uh, 3 to 1, which is uh, 15 over 45. That is uh, 1 to 3. That means when this small gear rotates three times, the bigger gear is going to rotate once. So that is reduction of speed. So this gear, when this gear turns at a higher speed. So the bigger gear will reduce the speed. So that is just the thing I want you to get. If you can even count it, you will see that it will give you the animation you want. Let me demonstrate it so that you see what I'm talking about. When you turn the small gear three times, the bigger one is going to turn in once. So that is ratio, gear ratio three to one. Let me show you so that you get what I'm talking about. Okay, I want you to watch as I turn the smaller gear. Let's see if it will give us the ratio we talked about. This we turn as we turn this three times, the bigger one is going to turn once. That is what we mean by gear ratio three to one. So let's take this blue mark in the bigger gear. So for the bigger gear to turn once, that means this blue mark will go around. And come back to this place once while the smaller gear is going to turn three times so let me select this particular seat here let me drag it a little and uh, let me zoom it a little okay i think this is okay so if you select this place so i've selected this let me turn it so that we watch so this one goes around so this is one the smaller gear have done one rotation. Let's go again. So this is two. So when it goes the third one, you see the blue will go back to where it started from. Then this is three. You can see it's correct. You can see this is where the blue teeth started from. So this one beauty about Creo parametrics. As long as your calculation is correct, all your formulas are correct, and you do your design calculation very well. Your animation will still be perfect and okay. You are not going to have any problem. So if I play the mechanism of this, if I let me leave it at 100 and let me reduce this frame rate. Let me take it to let's say okay, let's take it to let's say three okay let me move this to this end so that we can see it clearly okay let me position this okay so if i click on run you see how it's going to transmit the power to the bigger gear so see you can see it so that is it so this is all about designing of gear in crew parametrics 
and how to do the animation so when you do your machine design you can design your gear here see how it will be in real life then you can do the animation to check how you are going to merge the two gadgets and that is one thing i want you to gain in this video so i hope you enjoyed the video so go through the previous video i did on this on this VN gear then you also go through this video you will understand everything about gear calculations and the and the design of the gear on the design of the gear and the construction of the gear using crew parametric and also the animation do have a nice day and take care